Okay, are we in focus? I believe we are in focus. Shout out to my girl K on Instagram. I'm going to put her information down in the description. She's on TikTok, Instagram. If you could give her a follow, she made this video possible and sent over all this great gear for me to unbox and use throughout the year. So if you could go follow her, drop some comments on her post, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you ever want to send anything into uh, the channel, you know, support the channel like that. You don't have to, but if you want to, hit me up on Instagram DM. That'll be in the description as well. Now let's get into this box. This is a great selection of stuff, man. I'm just gonna dump it all out because, oh, we just got so much. Okay, so let's start picking through this stuff and see what all we got. Now, to be completely honest with you, uh, she sent two boxes. So the first box, I ended up opening it and I tried this uh, jig that was in there. This is a hard hats jig by Catch Co. That is a, I think it's Okeechobee craw color with the brown on top and the blue on the bottom. Really nice head on it. It's a football jig. I threw a Breezer Baits crazy craw on it. So that's a really nice presentation. And, uh, but everything else I haven't really tried out, haven't used. Um, and the, first, uh, the second box that came in today, haven't seen anything inside of it. So that's where the surprise will be. So I tried that one out. That would be our first bait. Looking forward to throwing more jigs this year. Um, I really didn't really get into them until the summer of 2020. So time to experiment, you know? So anyway, next bait is a, dang, this is a deep diving crankbait. I think it dives to 10 feet. This is a Livingston Lures Howler Dream Master in purple sea shad color. Um, yeah, the, that, man, I don't know if you can see the back of that, but that thing is shiny. And this is supposed to, Lure app tracks all catch data. What the heck? EBS technology that emulates natural bait fish sounds with the ability to generate more strikes even while completely motionless in the water. <clears throat> Yo, this is probably the craziest souped up crankbait I've ever seen. The craziest thing is you can connect it to your phone? Like, that is wild. We're gonna have to try this out and do a video on it or something. I've never seen anything like that. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever used one of these and if it if it's like cool, like like how does the app track the data? I don't know, I have so many questions, but let me know if y'all wanna see a video on this. Let me know. Okay, next bait. This is another hard hat jig by Catchco. And uh, that is nice. That's a different head shape. So that's more of like a, I guess, yeah. So that's the flipping head. And then this is the football head. So a little bit different size comparison. This is in a PB and J color. I really like this color, especially in like stained water and stuff like that. It's a three eighths ounce four out hook. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm telling you, man, 2021 is about to be jig season and it's cold right now. So honestly, it's really good time to throw a jig. Um, so boom, let's keep all these. I'll move all the ones that I open over on this side so I don't get them mixed up. Yo. I'm gonna have to go trout fishing. These are some inline spinner baits. I know my grandpa, he used to fish a whole lot with inline spinners. Um, he had a whole lot of them in his tackle bag and tackle boxes and stuff. And these are really nice. I think I need to go. This is actually another good cold water tactic. I'm about to try these out. That was a little bit. Let's see. Bend it back. I'm glad it came in this little pack too, because. Honestly, I need to get some more of those hard pack containers to hold all my baits because I'm coming up with, I have so much stuff now. I, I need a way to organize it. So anyway, hey, these look pretty good. I like these. Ooh, this one is crazy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got inline spinner baits. This is something like I don't use that often. So I'm glad I'm getting stuff that I can try out that are new fishing techniques so that's one thing i want to do more this year is try out like different fishing techniques game changer lures eliminator Ooh, i don't know who the first person i saw with this was but i saw somebody throw this on a spinner bait and the eliminator is like a real big chunky trailer with a, a huge curly tail on it let me see let me pull these out look at that thing it's kind of like a tadpole looking shape yeah, that, that, that tail is going to go crazy in the water. Oh, and they smell like death. That, that kind of reminds me of power bait low key. All right, I'm going to put this back. Oh my goodness, this waffle pack opened up all weird. Now I got to 
Try to put them back in here. Okay, they're back in there as good as they're gonna go. <laughs> we'll put those back in there. Bro, I'm excited to try these out. That's a different bait. I haven't tried this bait out before, so. Game changer, dude. That is clean. And we actually got two packs of them. Let's go. Let me know if you guys have used these before. Um, I've seen them definitely in a couple of videos. I think John B might have made a video with these. Let me know uh, if you guys know anything about them. And how I should rig them up. Because I'm thinking like on the back of a spinner bait or maybe a chatter bait. But you let me know. I think my roommate's making a smoothie or something, man. I have no idea. But hey, we're going to... Be right back. Are we good? Okay. There we go. Boom. Okay, next thing is a Ozark Trail Frog. Okay, if you guys follow me on Instagram, or I think I talked about it a little bit on YouTube, I love Ozark Trail just because everything is affordable. Like, you can go fill up an Ozark Trail tackle box and still have money to buy a combo. But like, you're gonna catch all types of stuff on the baits too, even though they're, you know, super cheap, obviously. So this is Walmart's brand. Um, I actually caught a PB on this green and yellow belly frog um exact same color everything so that is awesome i'm about to add this to the top water box um it's gonna be a minute for before we can fish top water but definitely gonna have to try this guy again i think the fish i caught on it was a four pound four pound five ounces which is not huge but that is a solid fish especially for the body of water i was fishing and that was before i was on youtube so i didn't you know have a video of it but i really wish i did i was also fishing a spider uh, by Lunker Hunt, so great addition, man. Glad I got this in the box. Okay, let's keep going. All right, this has to be an ice fishing lure. Frostbite performance spike, one inch. If y'all want to see a challenge video of me trying to catch a bass or any type of fish with this, let me know. Get this video to like a hundred likes or something. I don't know. Or just comment down frostbite proof i've never tried to fish with something this small i haven't had to use like a bait a bait holding hook like for a worm or something like i have no idea i think i could texas rig that thing <laughs> anyway all right let's get on to the next one okay 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 so we got a couple packs of hooks so this is so these are eagle claw hooks these look like actual eagle claw hooks though these are like black and look a lot better quality i don't know she might have threw like some different hooks in here but anyway we got one two three packs of eagle claw hooks and also two packs of mustad hooks so i hear a lot of good things about mustad um, yeah man texas rigs about to go crazy but there we go next bait impulse t-bone is this like a trout bait i don't y'all let me know what this is i have no idea i think that's a trout bait though it's like a little it's built like patrick star or something impulse t-bone like t-bone steak or something it looks like a like saffron or <laughs> if y'all know what this is y'all let me know it says impulse reactionary baits 143% more in a, more effective than the leading brands. That's a lot more effective. Uh, attractant, flexible body, Northland fishing tackle, Minnesota. I know it's cold as heck in Minnesota, so maybe this is like a ice ice tactic. If y'all seen these before, let me know what the heck I should do with this. Okay, so next thing we have are some baits by Excite. So I've only uh, had one bait from them. I have a mystery tackle box. It was a um, crank bait, I believe. But we got some plastics and green pumpkin. And I like their take on green pumpkin. It's a little bit lighter. Um, comparatively, I mean, I like it. Look, I like this color. Got a little curly tail worm with some black flake in it. And then we have a craw as well. Let me throw this back in there. Let's get to the side. And this, this craw, I think they call it what? The Raptor Tail Junior? Pretty cool name. Um, that, it looks like a great jig trailer. 
look at that you got these and then you got this that thing is clean hell yeah those pinchers are fat too those are gonna like create so much action in the water and see it kind of steps up so that's gonna catch way more water than if it was just like flat kind of reminds me of like the japanese um or reins baits have you ever seen reins baits r-e-i-n-s that uh that profile reminds me of their kind of baits like a jdm kind of style that's one thing i'm interested in too and trying more like japanese type type baits okay let's put those over to the side next thing ooh, we got a spinner bait carl's amazing baits I've only, I think I have two of their, there's only two Carl's Amazing Baits in here, but that's a nice chartreuse white spinner bait with a gold, one gold, one silver blade. That's a clean one. Another thing is, I think I threw my first spinner bait this summer. It was a Walmart black spinner bait. I'll link that video up here. And it was like a dollar and I was throwing it and I was throwing it with a fluke and catching fish. So spinner baits is another one I need to throw more and, um, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Toss it in there. Next thing. Ooh. Hybrid Diver by Thunderhawk, 3 8 ounce. Nice little jig head. I watch a lot of uh, Brian Latimer's videos, and he will use a jig head a lot on um, the Z Man soft plastics, like the little swimmers and stuff like that. So that is a nice little presentation. It's not super big. It might get bit on that in the wintertime, too. And you get two heads and an extra tail, I like that. These are three eighths ounce, that's pretty heavy for a, you know, a small jig head, but that is clean. I think I'm gonna be able to cast that really well, especially on a bait caster. Uh, three eighths ounce is really nice to, to cast out. I like to get a lot of jigs and stuff like that in three eighths ounce because it's so easy to cast them and they sink really good. Um, uh, quarter ounce is good too, but for a jig head, I think that's really clean. That's a cool color too. You can see that well, okay. Next, what do we have? Ooh, so gambler fishing. These are humongous. Seven inch fat ace. <laughs> Yo, that's probably the biggest Senko I've ever seen. I'm about to like wacky rig this thing. This thing is built like a centipede. That is crazy. Ooh, they stink. Enhanced with gambler bite. Man, that is a smelly bait. I was introduced to gambler fishing uh, baits through Mystery Tackle Box. I got some in my first Mystery Tackle Box. I think it was a, it was a, um, it was a craw. It was a craw, and I paired that with the Guggen Gridiron Jig. So, yeah, it worked out. It worked out good. I'm gonna have to also link in the description if you guys want to get Mystery Tackle Box for around like ten bucks for the regular box. Um, I'll try to add that to all my videos. That way, if somebody you know passes by a video, they can. Um, Check out Mr. Taco Box for a little bit of a discount uh, and whatnot. So, man, that is a cool bait. That is a thick worm, man. Summertime, bass will eat these thick worms. Maybe in the wintertime, too. I don't know. We'll have to try it out. That is, that is wild. Okay. Next, next, next. Ooh. So, I didn't even know Dobbins made spinner baits. Um, I heard they make like rods. Um, I think they make really nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They make a lot of different rods. And um, that is a really nice Dobbins spinner bait that is in um, Shad Chartreuse Shimmer. That's what they call it. B12 Shad Chartreuse Shimmer. It's a three eighths ounce spinner bait with a gold and silver blade. That is really clean. Hand tied silicone skirt. That is man look at the y'all see the head on that that head is really nice and detailed man that is oof. spinner baits jigs swim baits it's going down this year i cannot wait till it warms up and the fish are back biting like crazy uh okay we got two more so carl's amazing baits we got some ribbon tail worms this is a watermelon red flake another great color nice nice can't go wrong with a ribbon tail worm like this is probably the first a ribbon tail worm is the first artificial lure that i threw and caught bass on 
it was a all red worm though it, it didn't have any flake or anything in it and um i was throwing that on a 15 dollar shakespeare um i think it was shakespeare uh 15 dollar walmart like shakespeare combo and i was catching them on a texas rig and a red uh curly toe worm good times man okay so last but not least look at this this is called a jocko shaker you know what this reminds like this package reminds me of like Japanese ramen or like the ramen you see in stores where the packages are like crazy colors with all types of different like eye catching like symbols and stuff on it. That's what this reminds me of. Designed in Japan. Okay, so that makes sense. Like I was looking at this and I was seeing like the writing and stuff and I was like, this looks like like JDM like packaging, like the colors and I don't know. Even big swim baits like like this i was thinking like japanese scent and taste sh inside formula it has like a little baby shrimp on it. y'all see that dang i wonder what these what these smell like it says made in china designed in japan my goodness real fish action floating soft plastic system holy crap this four and a half inches I gotta smell this. It says it has a shrimp smell. Y'all see that? These are some nice looking baits. They're yellow, which is a weird color, but. Oh! Bro, this smells like power bait. This smells like straight power bait if they use shrimp. Like, that's crazy. If somebody held this in front of my face, I would say power bait 100%. Cool, it has like some interesting rigging on the back too. That is awesome. Okay, yeah, we're adding that to the box. That is clean. I gotta try some more JDM stuff. The only thing about uh, the Japanese plastics and stuff, all the lures and everything is they're kind of a little bit more expensive, but on the expensive side, just since they have to import them and stuff like that. Unless they're like Japanese design and made in the USA, usually that stuff has a tax on it. So anyway, like you'll see Japanese swim baits go for like $100. And I don't know about you, but I don't got $100 to spend on a swim bait. So a lot of awesome baits and stuff I haven't used before. Look forward to me throwing all this stuff throughout the year. I thank you for watching. Thank you for all the supporters and subscribers that I have. Hit the like button, comment, and let me know what your favorite lures were from the unboxing and uh, subscribe if you want to stay up to date and keep catching them and always have a great day. Oh, there we go. Oh man. Is that a car? Whatever it is, it is running.